enjoy this special episode of Latter Rain, featuring our late founder, Apostle Isaiah Revels. Amen. Jesus is here. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Praise God. Get your Bibles. I want a few strippers here. My message is today, that man. Amen. I didn't say Batman. I said that man. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you didn't heard it all over town and even, even those of you where you are in other towns. Who is that man, Apostle Rebels? Yeah. I done heard about that man. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm talking about another that man. His name is Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. His name is Jesus. And we're going to attempt to talk to you about that man yeah. and hope to help you to understand why they call you that old Christian or that old sanctified person Amen. or maybe they point out your church and said that old church Amen. I hope to help you to understand why they say those things Amen. can you say man somebody Amen. Isaiah 53 and 4 Exodus 12 and 10. Matthews 26 and 17. That man is our subject. And we believe that Jesus has special things for his children. Isn't that right? Amen. Somehow or another, I have a feeling that everything's going to be all right. I have a belief down in my soul. Everything's going to work out fine. I understand many times with you, things look dark. When you look up, sometimes discouragement and disadvantages. Trouble has darkened your sky. You're in the midst of a storm. But I'm here to tell you today, there's peace with Jesus in the midst of a storm. Amen. Don't get weary. Let's talk about Jesus here for a little bit. I know I got to get on into my message because yes. we don't have a long time. And we're praying one day that the Lord will give us a whole solid hour on our telecast. Because by the time it go to getting real good, you go to enjoying it's time to cut off and, and offer a prayer. Isn't that right? So we believe in God that one day we'll have a whole hour to explain and to demonstrate and to make plain Amen. the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 We're going into the scripture here. And we want to start here. Isaiah 53 and 4. The scripture reads as following. Surely he had borne our griefs. Surely this Jesus. We are in the climaxing of a holy Passover. We have had a whole week of an angel holy Passover. I believe the Pamplis says here, this is our third angel. 
Holy Passover. Amen. God has been with us. Amen. Hmm? Amen. No doubt about it. Amen. He is with us. Amen. 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 Jesus said that he was coming to connect the world back to his father. Amen. And here the prophet, the eager eyed prophet Isaiah says, surely he has borne our grief Amen. and carried our sorrows. Yes. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Yet we did not esteem him stricken. Yes. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Smitten of God. He was smitten of God. And afflicted. And he was afflicted. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Amen. 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 He was afflicted. Amen. It sort of bothers me when I look at people who want to follow Jesus and want everything to be all right. No suffering. No problems. Nobody talk about it. Everybody pat me on the back and tell you, you know, you're supposed to live sanctified. I ain't found that yet. And I've been preaching over 31 years. And, amen. amen. And I had received Christ before I started preaching. And I haven't found the world to pat me on the back and say, go on, boy. That's where you're supposed to live, holy and sanctified. I haven't found that yet. Amen. You know, the only somebody I found that really encouraged me in living sanctified and holy was those that's living sanctified and holy. Amen. Though it may be your own relatives. It may be a husband. It may be a wife. The Bible said your greatest foe will be of your own household. Amen. Your greatest trouble will come from under your own roof. Amen. From among your own kindred, your own people. Amen. 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 This is why it's so, so wonderful, such a blessing for a man and, and his wife both to have Jesus in their life. Amen. Same beliefs, headed the same direction. Amen. That's why Jesus said there in the sixth chapter of Corinthians, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Yeah. Huh? Amen. You can't agree. Jesus said two can't walk together except they agree. Yeah. All right, read the scripture. But he was wounded. But Jesus was wounded. For our transgression. For our transgression. He was bruised. He was bruised. For our iniquity. For our iniquity. The chastisement, the of, chastisement our peace of our peace was, upon, was him. upon him. And with his stripes, and with his stripes we are healed. Amen. Yeah. That's why I constantly tell people that it's not me healing you. Yeah. You are not serving me. You're serving Jesus. That's right. Amen. You're serving God. Yeah. You're not wishing up me. You're wishing up God. You're not to give me no praises, no Amen. honor, no nothing. Give it to God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Give it to Jesus. If you think it's a little thanks, you ought to give it to me. I don't do the credit. Go ahead and give that to God. Amen. Because he didn't have to let me live. Amen. Say amen. amen. All right, read the scripture. All we like sheep. All we, all of us, are like sheep. Have gone astray. We were gone astray. Come on. We have turned everyone. All of us, everyone. To we his have own, turned to what? To his own way. To his own way. Amen. Come on. And the Lord. And the Lord. Had laid on him. Has laid upon him. The iniquity the of iniquity, us all. The iniquity, all of our sins. He taken them upon him for all of us. Amen. So we don't have nothing to boast about. We don't have nothing to expect nobody to praise us for. Amen. Nothing to be looked up unto. Amen. We're nothing. Amen. Only Jesus makes us something. Yeah. 
Without him, we are nothing. Amen. I am what I am by the grace of God. Amen. I stand before you today by the grace of God. Amen. I testify and say that I'm saved, just an old sinner. Amen. Saved by grace, his grace, the grace of God. Amen. Read it. He was oppressed. He was oppressed. And he was afflicted. And he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his Yet mouth. Yet he opened not his mouth. What he, about you? Just got to say something anyhow. Amen. They treated me wrong. I just had to tell them off. Amen. They done me wrong. I just couldn't hold my peace. Yes. Yet he held his peace. Amen. He was afflicted. Amen. Come on. Yet he opened not his mouth. He opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb. He was brought as a lamb. To the slaughter. To the slaughter. And as a sheep. And as a sheep. Before her shearer. Before her shearer. Is dumb. Is gone. Dumb. Is dumb. So he openeth not his mouth. So he openeth not his mouth. Who is that man? Can you say man? Bearing the wine press alone. Yes, sir. All alone. Talking about that man. God is redeeming the time. Join us for our last conference of the year. The Harvest Time Fellowship Conference will be held November 11th through the 13th. The theme is Get Ready, Get Ready, Get Ready. Haggai 2 and 9. Worship with us in person at 1506 South Slappy Boulevard or online at live.efvm.org, Facebook or YouTube. We have great expectations for what God is going to do. All right, let's go on here to Exodus. Yeah. Exodus 12 and 10. Say man, somebody. Amen. As a sheep before a shearer. Yeah. And he opened not his mouth. Amen. 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 That man. Amen. Can you say man? Amen. Exodus 12 and 10 reads. And ye shall let nothing of it. And he shall let nothing of it. Remain until the morning. Remain until the morning. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Read the book. And that which remaineth of it. And thou which remaineth of it. Until the morning. Until the morning. Ye shall burn with fire. You shall burn with fire. Come on. And thus shall ye eat it. And thus shall you eat it. With your loins girded. With your loins girded. Your shoes on your feet. Your shoes on your feet. And your staff in your hand. And your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. And you shall eat it in haste. What you do for God, do it quick. Amen. Get your ready. Get your clothes packed. Your duffer bag packed. Yes. Get ready. Yes. Amen. We're going to move out. Amen. Can you say man? Amen. <laughs> this was at the time that Jesus was fixing to bring the church out of Egypt. Yes. He showed many signs and wonders to Pharaoh. Yes. Pharaoh's heart was hardened. Yes. It reminds me of many times we preached the gospel. Trying to get people to believe. The more you tell them about Jesus, the harder the heart gets. Yeah. But that's all right. I want you to know that Jesus is saying, "Go ahead and pack your duffer bag. Yeah. Go ahead and get your staff in your hand. Yeah. The Lord is fixing to move. Yeah. Can you say, man? Amen. All right, read it. And you shall eat it in haste. Yes. It is the Lord's Passover. It is the Lord's Passover. Yeah. Can you say man? Amen. Read it. For I will pass through the land For of Egypt. I will pass through the land of Egypt. This night. This night. And Not we'll, tomorrow, but this one. Amen. Yes. And will smite all the firstborn. And I will smite all the first, firstborn. In the land of Egypt. In the land of Egypt. Come on. Both man and beast. Both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt. Read it. I will execute judgment. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Matthews, Matthews 26 and 17. I am the Lord. I'm going to do it. I'm going to execute judgment. I'm going to get you out of here. Amen. About time the world think they got you bound down, tied down, hindered, and, and, and the door shut in your face. Put your duffel bag on your shoulder. Fall on your knees and, 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 and get ready. God's going to take you out of it. 
Can you say amen? amen. I want to tell you, we're serving a right now God. Yeah. We're serving that man yeah. that everybody despised. Yeah. We're serving that man yeah. everybody hates. Yeah. Can you say amen? amen? Only believers love the Lord. Yeah. Can you shout yes? Yeah. All right, Matthew 26 and 17 reads, now the first day of the feast. Now the first thing, first day of the feast. Of unleavened bread. Of unleavened bread. The disciples came to Jesus. The disciples came unto Jesus. Saying unto him. Saying unto him. Where wilt thou? Where willest thou? That we prepare for thee. That we should prepare for thee. To eat the Passover. To eat the Passover. Come on. And he said. And he said. Go into the city. Go into the city. To such a man. To such a man. And say unto him. And say unto him. The master says. The said, master says. My time is my at hand. My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover. I will. Can't stop God. Yeah. It is my time now. Yeah. And go in there and tell him that I said I will keep the Passover. Yeah. All right, read it. At thy house. At your house. With my disciples. And I'm going to do it with my church. Yeah. Can you say amen? amen? Read the book. And the disciples did. And the disciples did what? As Jesus had appointed did them. Did as Jesus had appointed them. And they made ready the Passover. And they made ready the Passover. Now when the evening was come. Now when the evening was come. He sat down with the twelve. He sat down with the twelve. And as they did eat. And they did eat. He said. He said. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you. That one of you. That one of you. Shall betray me. Shall betray me. me. Come on. And they were exceeding sorrowful. Exceeding sorrow. And began every one of them to say. Every one of them to say. Unto him. Unto him. Lord, Lord is it I. Read it. And he answered and said. He has it said. He that dippeth his he hand that with me. his hand with me. In the dish. In the dish. The same, the shall, same betray shall betray me. Read the book. The son of man goeth. Yes. The as son of man goeth as it is written. Of him. Of him. But woe unto but that woe man. But woe unto him. By whom the son by of whom man. the son of man is betrayed. Is betrayed. It had been good. It had been man, good to that man if he, if he had, had not, not been born. born. Read on. Then Judas, yes, which betrayed him, yeah, answered and said, "Come on, Master, is it I?" Uh huh. He said unto him, "Yeah, thou hast said." Mm hmm. And as they were eating, yeah, Jesus took bread and blessed it. Come on. And break it. Come on. And gave it to the disciples. Come on. And say. And say. Eat, this Take, is my eat. body. This is my body. And he took the cup. Yeah. And gave thanks. Come on. And gave it to them, saying, Read it. Drink ye all of it. Yeah. But this is my blood. Yeah. Of the New Testament. Come on. Which is shed for many. Read it. By the remission of sin. By the remission of sin. That's enough. People, some people ain't gonna believe nothing, no how. Yeah. Now listen to me. We're talking about the blood of that man. Yeah. Now his blood. Was a typical figure, or should I say, the the animal, oh, yeah. Yeah. the lamb that Moses required the children of Israel to kill, yeah. and he told them to paint the doorpost back there when God was fixing to do a, a most uh, a great miracle. Yeah. Pharaoh had said that they would he would not let God's people out of Egypt. But they prayed. Yeah. Something about praying to that man. Yeah. You see, they prayed. Yeah. And God heard the prayer, looked and saw their affliction. Yeah. And he spoke to Pharaoh. Yeah. And said to Pharaoh to go down there and tell to Moses to go down there and tell Pharaoh to let his people go. Yeah. When he got out there, Moses wanted to know who was that man. Yeah. Who was that God? Can you say amen? amen? And as he began to stand there and God began to work all kind of miracles. Yeah. You know the story when he put his hand in his bosom and turned the leopard and put it back in that joint back to his natural hand. Yeah. Throw down his rod, his rod became as a serpent. Yeah. He, he pointed the rod over the rivers and they became blood. And, and and how that license in mice and mice fill the land. Frogs got all in the home of Pharaoh. Can you say man? 
It was simply because that the, that man was at work. But you see something about God. If we keep on praying, somebody say God will answer prayer. I mean, you know what I'm talking about? If you keep on living holy, if you keep on living right, God will. He'll answer your prayer. Talking about that man, Jesus. When Jesus came, somebody said, God had need of a vessel that he could get in and come to this unforbidden world, this sinful world. God said, as he sent out a such one, looking for somebody that was worthy, went down to the earth, searched out beneath the earth, searched out in the earth, came on back to heaven, searched out around the throne of God. Everything cried him unworthy. Finally heard Jesus said, Oh, Father, prepare me a body. I'll go down. I'll prepare my, I'll, I'll, I'll connect man back. I'll connect man back to you. Can you say man? And we saw Jesus. God prepared him a body. Somebody said, when we saw him left heaven, he looked like a stone rolling through Babylon. Can you say, man? Oh, Jeremiah said, I saw him coming. He looked like a horse point in the valley. Talking about that man. Yes, sir. Look at that man. We saw him coming a little farther. Isaiah picked him up. The old eagle-eyed prophet looked and saw him coming again. We're talking about the Passover. He said, I saw him coming to Moses with a dyed garment on. Who is that man? Can you say man? Bearing the wine press alone. Yes, sir. All alone. Talking about that man. He don't need you. God can get him somebody else. Yeah. Yes, sir. What you talking about? Yeah. He's all right. Yes, sir. Let me ask you a question. Can I preach it like it is? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's all right. Look at my God. Talking about that man. Everybody talks about. Can you say man? People don't like him because he stood up. He healed on the Sabbath day. Somebody said that man cute the will of man hand on the Sabbath day. Said that man had no right to do that. Went down by the by the by the by the pool of alone and he saw a blind man and he spit on the ground and made clean. And he said to the blind man, go to the pool and wash and you shall receive your sight. Can you say man? When he went down there, received the sight. He come back leaping. He come back rejoicing. I don't believe you people with me. Can you shout yes? Somebody, somebody didn't like it because that man feeling with joy came back in the temple leaping and praising God. They don't like you because you got joy. They call you that church. So what is them people over there in that man's church? I want to tell you what's wrong. That man that walked the blue shows of the Galilee has got in that church make them live holy can you say man because they in that man can you shout yeah yes sir talking about that man he's all right open the blinded eyes yeah good morning well we would like to invite you now if you do not know Jesus uh, in the parting of your sin to make today your election make your choice today choose Christ choose life and the way that you do that is by simply inviting him into your heart 
and asking him to change your life. Yes, you've tried to do it the best that you can, but listen, you need Jesus in order to make it on this life's journey. Well, my friend, my brother, I would like to invite you now to open up your heart. Say uh, intently in your heart, with your mouth, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I invite you into my heart right now. I ask you, Lord, to change my heart. I ask you now, Lord, to wash me and cleanse me. Make me over. Make me a new creature. Forgive me of all of my sins, every wrong that I've ever done, knowingly and unknowingly. I ask you to cleanse me and forgive me of it now, Lord. And I believe, I believe that you, Jesus Christ, died for my sins. And not only did you die, but you rose again on the third day. And because you live, I can live. I can have a new life. I can have a better life in Christ Jesus. Well, my friend, my sister, my brother, if you can only believe, it's already done. It's just as much as you believing, and then you can receive the fullness of God's blessing for your life. Well, now listen, I would like to invite you because the next part, important step for you is to connect up with a church that's going to teach you how to grow in faith, how to grow in Christ. I would like to invite you here to 1506 South Slapper Boulevard in the good life city of Albany, Georgia, where I am the senior pastor. But listen, if you cannot make it here, go to your local area, seek God, pray for guidance and direction, but link up and hook up with a Bible-believing church that's going to guide you and teach you the ways of righteousness. Well, we like to say that we're praying for you, and we would like to again tell you this is the best decision that you could have ever made in your life. We love you, God bless you, and thank God for you. Thank you for tuning into Latter Rain. We hope you have enjoyed the word this morning. To order a copy of this message in its entirety, please visit our online store at www.efvm.org or call 229-436-7707. To partner with us on our mission to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, please make a donation by clicking the Give link on our website or through the Givelify app. Once again, we thank you for tuning into Latter Rain. Join us next week as we experience the outpour, the overflow, the Latter Rain.